Good morning, my name is Dan Drost from Utah State University. I'm the Extension Vegetable Specialist and this morning we want to talk to you a little bit about plant sampling for tissue analysis in onions. Um, as you can see we're standing in an onion field here in, in Utah. Uh, one of, during the course of a season you may notice that there are uh, problems with the growth of your onion plants and if you're uncertain as to what is causing that problem uh, one thing that you can do to determine whether you have a issue with nutrient deficiencies in plant tissue is actually collect uh, plant samples. Uh, one of the ways to do that is to walk your field in a W or a Z pattern collecting plants as you move through the field or if you have a location that is in a much smaller area you can go in and look at that area by itself and take samples within that to determine whether there's a deficiency of a various element uh, within the plant sample. What we would go, th do, go through and do is we would uh, go randomly along, pull up onion plants, and we're only really interested in the green top. So where the neck of the onion is, we would break those samples off and we would collect just that green top tissue and we would place that into a plastic bag, labeling it according to your field, the variety, the grower name, the date, in order to give the testing lab a great deal of information. You would also want to supply them with what fertility you've applied to the field up to this particular day and then uh, collecting at least 20 to 30 samples like this randomly throughout the field or in your known deficient area or your known problem area and use that sample to help estimate uh, what the nutrient content is. Once the report comes back to you, contact your local extension educator or, the, or you can contact me at Utah State University and we can look at those results with you and make a determination as to what the problem is and what corrective action you need to take.